So I want to start this video by saying turn on your VPN. What's up everybody, my name's Dave. I'm making a video for you all today and I have blacklisted myself from the Amazon AWS servers. <laughs> <laughs> I have blacklisted my personal IP address with the AWS server, so I'm going to turn on my VPN real quick. I feel like this isn't even going to work, but uh, it might work. I don't know. So today's video, yep, that worked. So turning on a VPN, yeah, I'm blacklisted from Amazon CDNs. Uh, so... I'm getting this result for everything, which means I'm blacklisted, but if I refresh, I'll access disabled. That means, well, yeah. So, okay. Anyway, today's video is all about making a URL fuzzer with, <laughs> it makes so much sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> with ChatGPT. <laughs> So this project started around 12.30 at night when I just wanted to make a way to find the uh, bucket server for Cartown that we know is still active using word lists. And it started out very basic, and then we moved to trying to read the XML of the web page, and that never worked. And then we moved to adding CSV writing as well as a text file, so you have two files saving at once. In case there's like a corruption or something like that, you have a backup. And then we moved into using, you know, me explaining how the page should look. And it was using Bodocore as well as reading XMLs, and that never worked. So I said, can we just stop using that and just read it like a text file? And that works using Beautiful Soup, using Python for all this, added hyper th or multi threading. And moved on from there, and now it's at this final form that looks like this. Which, this is on GitHub. Like I said, turn on a VPN if you want to use it. So, it's a very simple script. And I'm sure there's things I can add to this, like, make it work with anything. But this is a subdomain buzzer. And honestly, you could turn this into anything. I'm sure I can make this an overall buzzer that works for everything. But I don't feel like it. This is all I wanted it for, so if somebody wants to edit it further and add more features, you know, leave some suggestions in the comments down below, and maybe I will add to it. But as of right now, this is where I'm happy with it. It saves as CSV. It saves as a text file to have redundant file saving. Um, I'm going to change this to four threads. But, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. And the way you use it is you just simply cmd python bucket finder dot uh, py. If you don't put a word list at all, it'll just run a random word list. If you want to use a word list, you do word list uh, apple dot text, and then you can do your threads for hyper threading and do like eight or something like that, and it'll just run through. And then, you know, my main IP is now blacklisted, so I can't open these, but, you know, working bucket versus non-working bucket or private. So, you know, pretty useful. Uh, it would be useful with a better word list for finding video game stuff, I'm sure. But if you want to see how fast this thing actually is, Especially with the hyper threading, like this is the best subdomain fuzzer I have ever used. Um, we can go Python bucket finder dot py. It'll default to just wordlist.txt, which you see on the screen over here. I'm gonna delete these because I want you to just see like this is a lot of words. This is seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven words bucket finder and we can do threads what probably got me banned was running 16 threads so we're going to double it and go 32 oh my god it's fast like it's ridiculous 
So it's basically running through all 7,000 words in that file. And yeah, it's fast. Like crazy fast. This is already in the E's out of 7,000 words. It's only been like 10 seconds. F, G, H. Yeah, it's doing about one letter change per two seconds. And there's 7,000 words in this file. Over 7,000. 7,700. So, it's no joke fast. I could probably run this way faster and do like 128 or even 256 for threads. But I don't understand threads, so that's why I only did like 32. But as you can see, again, it saves here and just tells you, oh, hey, this is a real one. Hey, this is a real one. You know, this is a real one. Did I just see aliens? Yeah. I don't want to go to it anyway and just see what it is. But, yeah, it saves it. It does it well. That's all 7,777. But it did time out because Amazon got mad at me. So, yeah, it did all that. It wasn't even two minutes. That's why I didn't edit this, or that part of the video. Working bucket. Zombie. Ooh, I want to know what's on zombie. Hold up. Fun. It's an Android game. Is there an APK in here? No, it's just Android patches. Wonder what are you? And this is the fun of searching buckets, in my opinion. It's like I can just download this and see what it is, or like download this. Uh, actually, it's just list.txt and see what it is. It tells me what the file size and all that is. So it's probably like an update for their game or something like that, which I don't know what this is. Uh, unless there was some way to find out with like other things, but iOS stuff is in here. You know, it's it, it's cool. I like doing this kind of stuff. I love just hunting where I'm not allowed to hunt. And, you know, maybe I can get in trouble for this. I don't know. But I found this to be a very fun thing to do. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to make this better, you know, leave them in the comments down below. But honestly, that's how you get yourself from... Uh, banned from searching Amazon buckets. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. That was basically a speed run.